Hello and welcome to Fact Town. Today we are going to compare rail system of Indonesia and Thailand and this video suggestion was given by Movie HD. If you have some good suggestions for future videos, put it in the comments below or you can send it to me on my Instagram. And next time we might make a video on the topic you suggested. And of course, I'll mention you in the next video. But as usual, before we begin, I have to remind you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We make videos on different topics like railways, airports, countries, cities, indexes, etc. Now let's begin. Point number 1. Electrification Indonesia has total rail network of 6000 km, out of which only 471 km is electrified, which is just 7.85%, whereas in Thailand, total rail network is 4,346 km and only 123 km is electrified, which is less than 5%. This is even less than Indonesian railway. Electric railways are better for our environment and both countries have a long way to go in this regard. But for now, First point goes to Indonesia. Score is now 1-0. Point number 2. Fastest train. The fastest train in Thailand runs at an operational speed of 120 km per hour and it has maximum speed of 160 km per hour. High speed rail line is under construction in Thailand which when ready will be able to run at 250 km per hour but as i mentioned before it is still under construction indonesia too does not have high speed line operational yet and is expected to become operational in 2021 which might be delayed further due to the covid 19 situation but at the moment fastest train in Indonesia runs at approximately 140 km per hour. We made a video comparing Indian Railways with Indonesian Railways a couple of years ago. And to find information on the Indonesian Railways was really difficult since then. If we are wrong, let us know in the comments below. But this point can be a tie as Thailand does have higher top speed. So, score is now 2-1. Thailand has rail network of 4,346 km, while Indonesia has slightly more, 6,000 km. Difference is small, but Indonesia wins. Score is now 3-1. Point number 4. Luxury Train Thailand has one luxury train, the Eastern and Oriental Express. This luxury train operates in Singapore, Malaysia and Thailand. And it is run by same people who operate legendary Venice Simplum Orient Express. So, we know how good it is. Last time we said Indonesia doesn't have luxury train, but apparently we were wrong and there is a luxury train, but that works on demand. Information is not clearly available, but after consulting a couple of Indonesians, we could conclude Thailand definitely has a better world-class luxury train. And hence, Thailand wins this point. Score is now 3-2. Point number 5. Comfort Both countries are pretty much at par on this point. Trains are clean, seats are comfortable and journeys are overall a decent experience in both the countries. So, this point also is a tie. So, the final score is 4-3 and Indonesia wins. This was very fun and it was more fun to make. If you enjoyed this video, like it and share it with your friends and social media. I'll see you again on Monday. Thanks for watching Fact Town.